Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com. And in this video tutorial, I'm just gonna be taking you through the steps you need to take if you wanna get a looping animation in After Effects. So there's a number of different expressions with looping. And so I'm just gonna kind of show you um, a few of them, but it should cover almost every looping uh, topic that you need to know. So let's just go ahead and jump right into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects, and I'm gonna first show you this ring animation. So, um, you know, I only have two keyframes here. You see uh, at zero seconds and then at two seconds. And uh, I'm just gonna delete this expression here and I'm gonna only to delete these keyframes just so I can kind of give you an idea of uh, how to do this. So uh, the first things first is I have this circle with the anchor point in the center. That's why when I rotate this, it rotates around that center anchor point. But what I wanna do is I wanna hold Alt and press on the rotation uh, uh, stopwatch. And uh, it looks like, um, oh, there it is. I uh, had caps lock added. Um, but basically what this now allows me to do is add an expression. So you can type in expressions here if you know them, but I find that it's really hard to really know what expressions are in After Effects. Um, just by you know guessing. So what I do is if you press this little play button here, you can come up and there's a ton of different expressions pre-made and it kind of gives you an idea of, of how to use them and, and, and what they do. And there's a great tool online that you could use on Adobe's website that'll go through all of these and tell you exactly how they're used and what they could be used for. But the one we want is property, loop out. So there's loop out, loop in, loop in duration, loop out duration. Loop out is the easiest one to use and it's the one that you'll probably need to use the most. Um, if you really need uh, in-depth looping tutorials, um, but you understand After Effects, then this tutorial probably isn't for you anyway. Just go and search loop in duration um, on Adobe's forms and it'll tell you how each of these are used. But if you just want a simple looping animation, this will do the key, loop, loop out. So um, let's see, since we do not have any keyframes, this is gonna give us an error. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set a keyframe uh, at zero seconds and then come up to two seconds and change this to one. So that will give me one full rotation. I know it didn't really, you can't really tell here. I'll do it like this just so you could, uh, just so you could see, you know, that it's, that it is one. And let's see what this gives us now. So there it goes, it's now just looping. So you see here that uh, it says type equals cycle and number of keyframes equals zero. So if you just want a simple looping animation like this, then that's all you really need to do. What's great here is that I can move this keyframe and it will you know, loop obviously as fast as, as, I, as I set this. So if I extend this out, it'll loop slower. If I bring it in, it will loop faster. And that's pretty cool. Um, another thing you could do is you could change this cycle here to ping pong. So what ping pong does is it will bounce between the two keyframes. I'm just gonna drag this out again to maybe two seconds and just add some smoothing here just so it looks better. Uh, I'm using this motion script, it's a plugin. Uh, if you need more information, check out the description. But uh, what this will now do is it will bounce between the two keyframes. And what's great is that this smoothing, um, this, smoothing stuff that I added here, um, it gets, it gets you know, carried along throughout the whole animation. So it's a really simple, really cool way to get looping that way. But there's more. Remember this keyframes equal zero, there's stuff you could do with that. So jumping over to this box animation, I've got one, two, three, four, five keyframes here. Um, one is when this black ball starts in the top left, um, then it moves to the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left again. So uh, here's a key here if you want a looping animation with multiple keyframes. You wanna make sure that the starting keyframe is the same as your ending keyframe. If you don't have that, so let's say I delete this last keyframe, I'll show you what you get. So it goes through and it just kind of like pops to the top. So you wanna make sure that you do have a full looping animation here. And um, it is on cycle, so that's why it's going through. Um, I could change this again to ping pong. And we'll see what that does. As you'd expect, it will bounce just back and forth. Um, I'm just gonna change this back to cycle though. And this number of keyframes here, what this basically tells, tells the After Effects is how many keyframes do you want it to loop? Which keyframes here do you need to loop? So let's say for example, I change this to one. 
Basically, it will loop these last two animations. So just think of this as keyframe zero, and this is keyframe one, and so it will loop between these two spots. So it should loop between the two left, uh, the two left positions. And you can see that it does. But again, the ending keyframe isn't the starting keyframe of the animation, which will now be this keyframe. So you'll notice that it does just kind of go up and then instantly go back down. Um, if you had this to ping pong, if you have this to ping pong, then it will go through the animation and then just bounce between those two points. So it's really great use of After Effects, so that way you don't have to make like, you know, just now add copy and paste these keyframes and then you might miss it by a couple um, frames and then it doesn't quite look perfect. But uh, let's see what else you could do. If you change this to two, um, it will now do these last three keyframes. So you expect it to go around and then bounce between these three, whoops, those three positions and we'll see, and it does, just as you'd expect. So that's kind of how you loop, use loop out um, with you know multiple keyframes. So this is the last one here, and this one is continue. So let's say for example, I need, I want this kind of ball to come from the side here, and maybe at you know, whatever frame, I want it to hit this sphere, but I want this sphere to, to, be, to be expanding out until it fills the whole frame. So without looping, what you'd need to do is you need to say, okay, so I'm gonna scale that, you know, set a scale keyframe on this center ball, scale all the way up, pressing G on the keyboard bounces me back to my last keyframe. Now I'm gonna set a position keyframe, and let's say I want the ball to bounce off there. You know, I'll move it that way, and then, you know, bounce it back. And yeah, that, that looks that looks okay. That doesn't look bad, right? Let's pretend like that's the animation that you want. Um, what happens if I say, actually, I want this to kind of speed up a little bit. It's kind of going too slow and I move that. Well, now it doesn't work anymore. So now I have to say, okay, well, at this keyframe, you know, move this there. And okay, so now that, now it works again, but you know, I kind of want to add some smoothing to this. It's too linear. Well, okay, now I got to do it again, and it's just kind of a nightmare. Um, so a way around that would be to say, at, <laughs> sorry, I got a text message to say, let's say at two seconds, I want this ball to hit the sphere there. And so I could delete this keyframe on this scale, and I could scale this up till it hits the ball. But now I have to now guess to see, uh, now I would need to guess to say, well, how fast now do I need this, this thing to keep scaling um, after it hits to make sure that it, you know, it looks right. Well, all you gotta do is if you hit Alt again and go to scale, you know, holding Alt and hitting the stopwatch, I can again add property, loop out, and I could change this to continue. And since these have smoothing, so since I augmented their scale graph, um, it won't work. So you just need to make sure that they are um, just completely linear. Um, if you don't have this motion script, you could have just right click them, keyframe assistant, uh, actually keyframe interpolation, and then change that to linear. It would make them linear again. Um, but now what should happen is nothing. So let's see what happened. Continue, here's the key here. Um, you actually don't need this last uh, num keyframes because there's only two keyframes used in this whole animation. So technically that should solve it and it does. So basically now I don't need to do any math and say, okay, how much do I need to scale this? Because what this does is it takes this scale and takes the speed at which it's going to get here and it, and it uh, just continues that scale. So it's actually pretty cool. Let's see what happens if you add some motion to this, if it works. And I don't think that it does. Nope, it doesn't. So they do for sure have to be linear keyframes. But uh, yeah, it's actually really cool uh, to just have this continue to scale up at the same rate. It will help, it, it's helped me a ton and I'm sure it will help you as well. 
But uh, yeah, sorry for all the interruptions, but I hope you learned something new about looping animations in After Effects. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe for more tutorials across all ranges of applications, including Premiere Pro, um, Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, and of course, After Effects. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.